Hi, I'm Rachel Mayuka, and I'm a member of the Associate Board here at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. And it's been my pleasure to serve on the board for the last four years because I especially have witnessed firsthand all of the great recovery of both my husband and my father, who have both been inpatients for a number of months and outpatients as well. And I've seen the recoveries of other patients too, and I've seen that miracles truly do happen here. And I hope that you agree with me that this place and these people that as they pour their passions and their skills and their time and their innovations into the recovery of patients that they all lead to really phenomenal outcomes. So it's my honor to be here this evening with you all to help shine a bright light on one of the unique areas uh, that's never seen by majority of people. And I'm joined here by Nicole Soltis, who is the Associate Director of the Prosthetics and Orthotics Lab, also known as p &O Lab. So Nicole, thank you so much for having us here. Thank you, it's my pleasure. So Nicole, this place is really impressive. What can you tell us about where we are and what you do here? Yes, absolutely. So this is the Prosthetics and Orthotics Lab. Uh, we are one of the few hospitals that has its own fully owned prosthetics and orthotics lab in the building. And our prosthetists and orthotists work together with patients to make highly customized prosthetic and orthotic devices. Great. So what is a prosthetic versus an orthotic? Sure. So a prosthesis is a replacement limb, an artificial limb. So we create arms and legs. That's wonderful. Thank you. The other thing that we do is we make orthoses. An orthosis is a brace and they might need a brace for their ankle. They might need a brace for their hand or their back. And those are all things that we can create here within our prosthetics and orthotics lab. So Nicole, what makes having the p &O lab on site so important? If the patient is having trouble with their balance, our prosthetist and therapist can be together with the patient in the same room, watching them walk, making adjustments to the prosthesis and, and checking to see, does that help them to walk better and have better balance? Can you tell us a little bit more about the thought process that you have and the questions you ask patients to make sure that the devices are truly as customized as they can be for them? Yes, we really enjoy hearing about what types of activities our patients love to do. So if we have a patient that enjoys gardening in the backyard or someone that wants to run a 5K or someone that wants to play with their grandchildren on the floor, we wanna make sure that we design a prosthesis where it has the right motion and the right features to allow them to do those activities comfortably. That's so wonderful that you can match up their daily activities and hobbies with what you're making for them. Absolutely. So Nicole, you and your team go through a really complex process. Can you walk us through the steps that you take? Absolutely. So first we cast the patient. We wrap plaster around the patient's limb. That gives us a model of the limb that we bring into our plaster room in our lab. And the prosthetist or orthotist that works with that patient uses their hands to shape and modify that cast to make sure that the device will fit very comfortably. Next, we take that cast and hand it back off to our technicians and the technicians will create the device using different types of plastic or laminated materials. And that laminated socket can have any pattern or color that the patient wants to include in their device. After the device is laminated, then we'll assemble it all together. We uh, get all different parts for the prosthesis, a foot, a knee, a socket, all come together and we assemble it here in our lab. And then we get to have the patient appointment where we get to give them and show them their finished device and perform the final fittings to make sure that it's perfectly comfortable for them. That's a truly remarkable process that you go through. So it sounds like everything you do is a mix of art and science. Would you say that's correct? Absolutely. We must understand anatomy. We have to understand how the body moves and how the body works as we're helping patients to walk again. But then there's this artistic side that everyone on our team has. And um, with that artistic side, we're sculpting casts, we're um, building devices with our own hands, we're solving problems and really trying to come up with unique solutions for our patients. So Nicole, what is it like to give the device to a patient for the first time and see them use it? It's a great feeling when we can put that brace or that artificial leg on the patient and have them take their first steps 
or have them put on their arm for the first time and give their parent a big hug with that new arm. And we're the lucky ones that get to witness that moment for the patient. That's so wonderful. It must be a very emotional and happy time, especially knowing that patients have been working so hard to get that to that point. And it's a culmination of all your hard work too. So Nicole, thank you so much for this behind the scenes look at the PNO lab and everything that you and your entire team do to care for our patients. Thank you. It's been so great to be a part of this evening.